lot of her headquarters wearing workout gear. Okay. Since she never reported in, she's now reported missing and her mother is called. Her mother doesn't know where she is and a bolo gets sent out. Be on the lookout. Right. And that goes out on the 24th. The whole base is searched. They search off base, all the trails, nothing turns up. Vanessa's mother, she said that in the months leading up to her disappearance, she had told her that she was being sexually harassed by a sergeant, Ugh. which would be a higher rank than her. Right. Uh, apparently, I had heard that she got followed in to the shower. Oh, my God. Maybe not the shower shower, but maybe the, the shower area. room mm -hmm. um, by somebody. And her mom was kind of saying, aren't you going to do something about it? And she's like, no, of course not. It never gets taken seriously in the military. Sexual right. assault and abuse. Especially here at Fort Hood. Sexual harassment and stuff. Yeah. Investigators find that the last person she was in contact with was Specialist Aaron Robinson. He also worked at the armory, just in a different room. Mm -hmm. What he said happened was Vanessa came to him mm -hmm. to compare some serial numbers of some firearms and equipment and then left. Which would be normal, standard thing. There was a fifty caliber machine gun that needed to be repaired, and she had to compare serial numbers with him before that weapon could be sent off to be worked on. Okay. Well, witnesses said that they saw Aaron later that day wheeling a big storage tub outside the armory. Ugh, that is never good. No. Two months later, a tip comes in and police search a field five miles from Fort Hood and they find skeletal remains. Mm. Turns out, though, these don't belong to Vanessa. Oh my god. According to dental records, this was another missing soldier, Private Gregory Weddle Morales. And was this tip anonymous? Did you say anonymous tip? Uh, I didn't say anonymous. I'm not sure how the tip came in. Well, that's creepy that a tip came in about Vanessa and it was a different set of remains. Well, it could have been a tip saying maybe there oh. are remains here in this area. So Weddle Morales, he actually took his wife's name when he got married. That's what the Morales is. Huh. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, I think that's cool. He went missing a year earlier just weeks before being discharged. His sergeant showed up to his house looking for him because he didn't show up for work, and his wife said that she hadn't seen him since the day before. Well, the army just figured he was AWOL, which is absent without leave. Right, but why would you go AWOL weeks before you're discharged? <laughs> right, that's super weird. But because they assumed he went AWOL, it was barely investigated at all. After his remains were found, an investigation was opened, and it's being treated as a homicide. But it's still ongoing. They haven't found shit? No. Just the evidence, and I don't know what evidence, all this stuff, since it's an ongoing investigation, it's not being... Public. Yeah. yeah. But it, it is being treated as they think someone else is involved and he was murdered. God. Okay, back to Vanessa's case. Investigators get permission from Aaron to search his phone. Mm -hmm. They find out that Aaron's phone pinged off of a tower about 20 miles away from Fort Hood. At night, when he said he was at home with his girlfriend, Cecily. Mm. They go talk to Cecily, who actually was married to another soldier on base, mm -hmm. but they were separated. Okay. Kinda. But adultery in the military is against the law. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you can be brought up on charges. What if... They're separated. But since they're separated, did that count? Well, I don't... And see, people in these articles, they're saying separated. I don't know if legally separated or I if gotcha. they just weren't living together. So investigators go talk to Cecily, and she says, actually, we weren't at home. We went for a long drive down by the Leon River to go look at stars. Uh. And that's why our phones pinged off of that tower. Investigators now... Start searching that area along the Leon River. Right. They find the lid to a container, which would have been a, a tough box. It was a Pelican brand, I think, but it's a big storage bin. Mm -hmm. They find the lid to it, and it's kind of burnt up. And they also find a burn pile, and they dig through that, but they can't find anything. Ugh. About a week later, there were some workers um, working in that area, mm -hmm. working on a fence, I think. And they reported a bad smell. And when they searched that specific area, they found three little dugout areas in the ground that had human remains in them with cement poured on top. Ugh. 
and then try to cover it with some dirt. So after finding these remains, before they've been identified, the investigators go back to Cecily. Yeah. And they tell her, hey. This bitch is lying. And they say, hey, we found remains. And then Cecily was like, oh, shit. Yeah. This is what happened. She says that Aaron picked her up late night on the 22nd. And they drove to the Leon River. She says that Aaron tells her that he killed Vanessa with a hammer in the armory and then put her in the storage tub. He then locked the armory and left, came back around 6 p.m., wheeled the case out of the armory to his car, loaded it up, and drove off base. And that's when he picked up Cecily. Okay. Why the fuck would she go along with this? I don't know. Like, I just can't. Yeah. I already mentioned, like, I am not a ride or die when it comes to this kind of shit. Yeah. Do not pull up at my house with a body and be like, help me bury it. Fuck no, I'm going to the police. Yeah. So, for whatever reason, she agrees to help him dismember the body with a machete and a hatchet. God. They then try to burn the body parts, but it doesn't burn like they thought it would. So they buried them and ditched the machete and hatchet out the window on their way out of the area. What the fuck? Three days later, they... And, like, why... What What was his excuse to his girlfriend for killing this girl? She didn't want me to sexually harass her anymore? I'm not sure that it even... She might not have even asked why or... Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't know what type of person Cecily is, but... I don't know what kind of person would just go along with this without asking questions. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that's insane so three days later after burying the body parts they returned with hair nets and gloves and tried to burn the body parts again it still didn't work and they ended up pouring concrete in the holes they then went home and burnt their clothes goodness well after telling investigators everything she agrees to call aaron and have the calls recorded mm -hmm. and during one of the calls aaron actually says baby they found remains oh my god so they bring Aaron in for questioning under the pretext that he had violated some COVID protocols. Mm -hmm. And so he wasn't officially under arrest and handcuffed or anything. Right. And I think someone else um, on his unit was kind of, quote unquote, guarding him. I gotcha. He just kind of, he realizes, I think, what's going on and mm -hmm. he takes off. Oh, and shit. And he escapes. And it was, I think, the next, and he takes off in his car. And I think it was the next day in the morning he was found, but before he could be brought in, he pulled a gun and shot himself. So we don't know why he killed her? No. Oh my God. What's so crazy to me is that I remember this case. I remember uh -huh. the trunk. I remember the cement and I remember her. Yeah. Her face is like burned into my memory for some reason. She's beautiful and looks very young and yeah, full of life. But I had no idea. I didn't know anything about the girlfriend, and I did not know what happened to him. Yeah, he shot himself. And Cecily, she got indicted on 11 counts related to Vanessa's death. Good. Vanessa got promoted to specialist, uh, which is a rank above PFC in the Army. After she died? Yeah, it was, well, yes, it was after she died. But she was due for this promotion, mm. and she was due for it before her remains were identified. I gotcha. So they gave her the promotion. One of the motives that kind of got ta that gets talked about is the whole adultery thing. How Cecily was married. Right. And it's possible that since Aaron was involved with Cecily, a married, he could have been charged as well. Mm -hmm. And Vanessa had found out that he was with Cecily. She had known Cecily was married to somebody else on base. And it's possible that Aaron wanted to keep her quiet about the whole situation. I don't yeah, know if I, I buy that. Bullshit. I, that's maybe just... that's what he told Cecily to get Cecily involved. Like, look, I was protecting us. Yeah. And Cecily never says, you know, you'd think that would be something that she was asked. And if she knew the information, right. she would give it up. But yeah, so it's pretty sad what happened to Vanessa. There was an independent review that was done on the culture command at the base. And after this review, more than a dozen army officials were either fired or suspended Good. Uh, for having an atmosphere that allowed sexual harassment and sexual assault. Good, because that's what I think this whole thing was about. I think that he was the one sexually harassing her. I don't know if he was ever named in that. I know she told her mom, but I don't know if she ever said who. 
No, she never said who. She said it was a sergeant. Um, was he a sergeant? No. Oh. He was a specialist. And I think they confirmed. I saw some articles that said it was proven that he was not sexually harassing Vanessa. Weird. Yeah. But I also did see that there were sexual harassment stuff about Aaron, just not related to her. Okay. Which just kind of adds this whole culture that's been going on at Fort Hood. Right. Where all this stuff, and it's not just Fort Hood, it's the military in general. It's these women don't want to bring anything up because who are they bringing it up to? They're bringing it up to their superiors. Right. Their superiors are the ones that are harassing them. Yes. So they either get in trouble or it gets blown off or they get laughed at. I mean, it's yeah. it's a terrible, terrible cycle that, that women in the military are are stuck in. Oh, it's not just women in the military. No, you're right. It's not. I'm sorry. Because I've worked in male dominant fields pretty much my entire life. Yeah. I didn't mean. No, I know you didn't, but I'm just saying like women in general, it's, there have been, I have been in so many different situations to where the person, I wouldn't say that I've been overtly sexually harassed, but you're labeled a bitch if you don't go along with the joke. Right. It's just known you have to be one of the guys. You got to play as one of the guys if you want to keep your position or be taken seriously. Right. I've experienced such a minute amount compared to what I'm sure women in the military, which is heavily male dominated. Yeah. Experience. But even what I've gone through makes it to where you are stuck. There's no one that can help you. Right. Almost two months after Vanessa was found, Sergeant Elder Fernandez went missing from the base. Oh my God, yeah. is he a part of this? Thing? No. Oh, that's just yet another person? Yeah, it is. Less than a month later, Fernandez was found hanging from a tree about 30 miles from Fort Hood. They say it was suicide, but I think it's worth noting that he was recently transferred to a different unit because he was a victim of sexual abuse. So he goes missing for almost an entire month and then is found hanging? Uh huh. And they ruled that a suicide? Yes. What the fuck is going on over there? Yeah. And I think it's shitty. He was the victim of sexual abuse on base, but he was the one that's being transferred to a different unit. Right. No one's getting punished. Right. He's just the problem. Uh Uh-huh. Or the whistleblower is getting removed. Right. It's fucking terrible. Yeah. Well, while Vanessa was missing, I think it was six other soldiers died. Under During what the time she was missing. It was either by suicide or murder. What the fuck? Yeah. One guy, Brandon Rosecrans, he was found shot four times, and his Jeep was found burning three miles away from his body. Did they rule that a suicide? No, that was that was ruled a homicide, but it's under investigation. So Well, and it's it's kind of relates to my story. Whenever the people that are doing the murdering or the covering up mm-hmm. Are the people investigating it, it's never, there's never going to be a resolve. Never. And that's why I think it was great that so many people, um, and I don't have the exact numbers. I wish I could could have found that information, but the military is not really going to release that. Right. Make that stuff public. But there were officials that were fired or suspended. And so hopefully that can help start a change in culture there. Maybe. I just feel like we're, there's just so much to change. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, there's a long ways to go. I just want to shut Fort Hood down. Well, I mean, they're an important base, and not everybody's terrible nope. there. Shut it down. Okay. <laughs> just shut it down. We're done there. There should be, like, a limit to how many murders happen, and then and we then just shut it down. Kind of like the government? Just shut the government down? Yes. Huh. Wow. Not it's Fort fucking Hood. tragic. Yeah, it is. Crazy shit going on. There has been much stuff recently. Uh, like I said, this, you know, happened in 2020 was kind of the year that I focused on. That's still pretty fucking recent. But yeah, there, there just hasn't been, it's only been a couple of years since that stuff happened. So there hasn't been public release of more information or anything, but yeah. Wow. Well, I'm glad that you covered that because I knew that there was a bunch of shit that happened at Fort Hood. I just didn't know what. Yeah, and I just kind of touched on, you know, some of these other cases. There's just not a lot of information. And when it's shut down so quickly as a suicide. Right, or it's an open investigation. They don't release a whole lot. Yeah. Well, good job. Thank you. Seems so short compared to yours. Don't they all? It's because I just love to hear myself talk so much. (laughs) (laughs) When I edit, 
I want to 